Hello, my name is Andre. I'm a videographer and owner of L Vision 2020 Productions. Welcome to Video Pro Solutions. All right, today I'm just going to talk about color grading versus color correction. Now, pretty simple. Color correction just means you're going in and make sure the colors are correct. Make sure your blacks are your blacks, your whites are your whites, your orange are your orange. Um, there's some tricks to doing so. If you're unfamiliar with color grading and you're unfamiliar with color correction, I recommend just using the in camera picture styles. Now, for instance, the M50, I put that on the screen now so you can see, has quite a few different picture styles to choose from. They all work great. Canon is great with the color science when it comes down to, you know, images. All right. So with that being said, if you want to get into color grading though, you're going to need to shoot flat or shoot in log. Now, the Canon C100, which I'm recording this on, it comes with a C log. Now the C log is great, as you can see on the screen. Now it's great, wonderful. Uh, everything looks great. But if I need to manipulate anything, far as the blacks, the orange, the greens, whatever, I can do so because I shot in a log. All right. So if that makes sense, good. If not, leave it in the comments. Now to keep it moving. Again, new to color correction, new to video production. I recommend just using one of the picture styles all right and let me demonstrate what that looks like on automatic and i want to demonstrate what it looks like flat now i use kind of a little bit of a hack you know we have styles and style which is like a c-log for the m50 because it doesn't have a c-log built in now you see that on the screen now and here it is the automatic and you already know looks good right all right in order to move forward i would need to do a little bit more to this picture here it's really flat so i need to add some color all right i'm sure how to do that i'm using davinci resolve it's studio 18. what we can do when we shot flat or shot with some type of log so click on that i'm going to drag this down into my timeline Voila. All right, so the next thing would be to jump over to the color tab and make sure you click on that actual file. All right, now with that being said, you can right click and you can go down to add no no is just adding an extra piece of paper or something else different to write on. Um, if I can say it pretty plain, or if you're used to working in Photoshop, or anything similar it's layers all right so we want to do i like to do anyway a add zero no before all right and drag this up here again we have our extra piece of paper we want to make sure that the effects is open we want to go down to color space transform voila all right two little steps just input color space I'm going to go with Rec 709. Alright. And then we use the timeline. I'm going to go with the Canon log. And DaVinci's pretty good at having logs here. Alright, so I'm going to click on that one. And as you can see, we almost there. Now if we go back to the automatic here, and we come over here, we're almost there. But as you can see, you click back on it, and make sure you highlight, you know, the footage that you're going to be actually working on. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to use my curve down here. And you have your highs, you have your mids, and you have your lows, pretty much. All right, so I see that's a little grainy, so I'm gonna just drop that down a little bit. Drop my mids down, and drop my lows down. Now, that's pretty close to here. All right, now, with that being said, I just wanna run over real quick some of the LUTs. And as you can see, just scrolling over the 
DaVinci does a great job of just letting you get a preview of what it should look like. Alright, so let's, you know, we can download them from just about anywhere. And uh, just want to demonstrate that. Alright, Avatar. See, as I mentioned, you can manipulate all the colors on here. Some of these might look horrible, some might look okay, especially if you're going for a certain look. Okay? So, with that being said, we're done with the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Again, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Looking forward to your comments. Take care until the next one. Again, my name's Andre. Remember to capture that moment. Peace.